Hello, and today I'm going to teach you how to make an LED circuit. First, you need an LED. As you can see, you need one of these. The longer side is the positive, while the shorter side is the negative. You also need one of these, a resistor, which will reduce the current power. This is a 9 volt battery. As you can see, it has a positive and a negative terminal. As you can see right now, it looks just like a lot of little holes and they don't look connected. For presentation, I decided to take off the bottom so you can see how the metal bars and the bottom connect these sections. And basically, this hole is connected to any other holes that are on that same bar of metal. And this hole is connected to this one because of the bar that moves along here. So now you know the basics to prepare for it. Remember, an LED uses only one, less than one volt of electricity. If you connect it directly to a battery that's nine volts, it'll fry it. And you'll have something like this. As you can see, it's burned. Build the circuit, the most important part of breadboarding. First, you want to set up the power terminals, which are on the sides. So then, first, you decide which side to plug in the positive. So I decided to plug it right here. Then on the opposite side, I plug the negative to lead in. In this diagram, I decided to make the positive red and the black negative. Then, first, you want to link one of the negative bar, which is right here, to a wire. You want to link that wire to one of the columns, which is over here. Now that the wire is connected, the negative is now connected to this column. Next, you want to connect the LED with I decided to make this wire green. With the long sider on this side and the short side on this side. So you connect the short side to the column that this white wire is connected to. So you connect it to that one. Then you connect the long wire into any other column on the other side. Then the wiring for the LED is purple. The long lead on the LED. And then connect it to another different column on this side. So then as you can see, the circuit starts to build up quickly. Then, to complete the circuit, you connect the final term lead of the resistor to wire, which is connected to the negative, completing the circuit. As you can see, the LED is glowing. This is a clear overview of the wiring. 